Hi there everybody, it's Jo Rose at joerose.com, numerologist and energy healer. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the universal energy for January 2019. If you haven't already watched my 2019 video and it's my first video with you, Happy New Year! Isn't it great to have a fresh new start, a new chapter? It's like getting a new book and starting all over. But not all over because you've been expanded and you've been growing throughout your lifetime. In numerology, each number builds on the one before, but nothing is beginning and ending because they just go round in a circle. What does January have in store for us? First of all, I want you to ground yourself with the 2019 video and I will put a link down below for you to connect to it. Also, at the end of my videos, there'll be a link come up as a, they call it a title screen or something, I'm not sure. But do check out the January video because this year, 2019 adds up to a three. How do we get that? 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 9 equals 12, 1 plus 2 equals 3. So it's a vibrant 3 energy, faster than last year and very creative but at the same time scattered. So starting January with a 4 energy and we get that by adding the 1 of January to the 3 of the year. So we're starting off with a very grounded structured energy of the 4. So let's look at the four and how we can work the four and three together. The four and three, because they are next to one another, they're not exactly best buddies. There'll always be a niggle or a prompt to push yourself and you can either use this energy to expand or you will find yourself highly challenged. I want to suggest you use this to expand. So let's look at January. Four energy, number one, get practical. Now that's the last thing the three energy wants because the three energy is not practical. The three energy is pie in the sky, it's imagination, creativity. And if you look at many creatives, go to their desk, go to their workspace, it's not in order. And that is because they lack this four grounded energy. However, and I'm going to use my daughter as an example in this, Year 3 University, she's an amazing graphic designer and will be as she leaves university in the summer of this year. But in order to get her projects, and she is thinking big, she is pushing the boundaries, which I'm suggesting the four energy does, push the boundaries. She is using all forms of media to get creative and while her Friends have been, saying, have been saying to her, is that a little OTT? What she's showing is her diversity. The four energy is saying, get practical. So create a plan, a structure. You need to form stability. With my daughter, we sat down yesterday and spoke about this. If she does not create a plan of action, a to-do list, a structure, she's going to find at the end as her deadlines approach, ha have a chaos, it's, it's just not going to work. And so while the three energy is really out there and in the moment, by having some groundedness, you create constructive freedom. And that's what you need to be looking at. So create a plan, do a vision board, create a goal. I mean, for vision boards, this is an amazing energy because this allows you to dream big. Be disciplined. Yes, I know, the three wants to get out there and socialize and the four is all about hard work, 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 work. Create a balance between social and work. You need them both. Why do you think they give um, recess, playtime for children at school is they can't think solidly hard past a certain period of time. And the break is to break state. So take breaks as well as working hard this month. So be disciplined and dedicated. It's all about you and your life. What is it that you want? What is it that you are creating this year? Where is it that you are going? In numerology, when we know our life path and our expression number, our heart number and so on, we know more about who we are. In these videos, I just share with you the energy forecasting. I will be sharing though your personal year numbers after this video. So 
if you're interested in finding out what your personal year number is and how you're going to work with this energy throughout the year, then please leave a message providing you've subscribed. You may be my next video. Um, be reliable, not just to others, but to yourself. You know, if like my daughter you are studying, then be reliable. Focus on what it is that you want. Sometimes we think to ourselves, oh, this is a chore, we've got to do the washing up. But if we don't do the washing up, we won't have a clean plate to put the wonderful food on that we've cooked. And it's really about knowing the bigger picture here and creating a step-by-step -step program. I have a little system where I have my to-do list is just in my notes on my iPhone. And each time I've accomplished, each time I think of something or a job that I need to do or a step or stage of something, I put it in my, my notes. When I've completed it, I put a, the green emoji tick next to it. And then I take them at the end of the day and put them down into the month. Now I don't delete them because it's great to see how far we've come. We forget how far we've come. And when you think about the, the, the four energy, it's building from the foundations up. We cannot put the roof on without putting the foundations in, without putting the bricks going up, the RSJs to hold the next floor, the RSJs for the roof and so on. We have to do step by step. Four is not get rich quick, but it is stable and secure. Create teamwork. Teamwork does make the dream work. So even if you're in a business on your own, even if your, mm, your project is on your own, find teams to support you. It could be family, friends, education, meetup groups, social interaction. Outside that, go to somebody that's already done what you're doing. Ask for advice. Again, I come back to my daughter last year when she was doing a project and she didn't understand what she was doing. She contacted printers or another graphic designer and just asked them a question using the fact that she was still at uni. She was still at uni, she still is still at uni, but find your way to get this information that you need. Numerology, right, that is a great support system. Numerology will give you such a structure for what you really are here to accomplish and how to deal with it when it arises. Commit to your goals. You know, January, New Year's resolutions, we start off with these great intentions and then bang, it stops. Commit to your goals. Don't have regrets. Make the plan now and check in. Put a monthly agenda together, put a weekly agenda together and just check in. At the end of each day, do a gratitude. What have you achieved today? What are you grateful for? How successful were you? If you had a challenge, review it. Look at what came up and how that can help you expand. The four energy can be often quite boxed in, but I am saying with this three energy, Break down the sides, break down the barriers, expand who you are, square peg, round hole. Ah, uh ah, -uh. stop being this and use this creative energy. The square peg does want structure, and we do need some form of structure in society. However, it's outdated in many areas, and the three, and the reason why we don't do many creatives at school is it stops us thinking, it stops us solution solving because remember it's such a creative number and it will be the solution solver so commit to your goals break down those barriers set a schedule and take action persevere through your difficulties there is good in everything and this month will bring challenges for you because it's opposite to the three it's the four energy and who knows what your personal number is right now it may not be um supporting you in the way you expect and we have to let go of expectation our soul is here to expand and grow it's not all about no challenges without challenges we can't grow we can't have these experiences we can't explore we can't feel good about ourselves so just well we can feel good about ourselves but we can feel better about ourselves because of how much we've been growing 
Use the creative three energy to push through those barriers. Remember, you are unique and this creative energy of the month will help you work out what it is that you want to do. With the four and three energy, there is a conflict. And I often say to people, think of the architect. The three is all kind of wiggly, squiggly, out there, creative, dance, free flow, etc. But if you built a building like that, it would just crash and fall. The architect is still a designer, still creative and still imaginative, but it has linear lines. And that's what you want to want to take away from this video is think architect this month. Think about the foundations and working up. I have a video, Numerology in the Apple Tree. Again, I'll leave a link below because it explains how one number builds on the other. We could not have a tree bearing fruit without the foundations. And the four is the roots, the foundation. So use this as a real good, strong foundation to set your year ahead. Thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, please share, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. As I said, I will be doing personal numerology and if you want to know what you've got lined up for you this year, then you really do need to stay tuned. Leave any comments below. I love to see the comments and I do answer every single one of them. And if you've put something there, I will attach your videos or if you've put something and I've made a video later on, I often go back and attach the video. So if you stay connected with me, then you're staying connected with yourself. I want to say it's your life, L-Y-F-E. Love yourself first every day. It's the most important thing that you can do, the most important practice that you can do because you'll start doing things that inspire you. The three energy is really about being inspirational and if you could just get this month cemented in for what you want, I feel sure by the end of the year there'll be many people that come up and say to you, you really inspired me, thank you. I hope I've inspired you and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you for watching.